five weeks in and uh, the story of the 2020 season. I'm going to go macro on you right now, Kyle. We're and I don't want forget about COVID. I won't talk about just football here. No, no, no. The football story of the 2020 season is what through five weeks uh, of this campaign. What do you think? I, I, I think I, I think it's Rodgers. I think it's the Packers. But don't you already feel, Rich, like we're going to get Russell versus Rodgers part nine? Like it's, it's, I know that it's October. These two teams are so good. The two quarterbacks are so good. They've played eight times. They're four and four against each other. The home team has won every single time. I think as well as those teams are playing in purely non-COVID storylines, it's the two of them. Because, listen, the Blooms off the rose on the Bills now. That might have been the story if they went last night. Uh, the Chiefs have learned that they, like Xerxes, can bleed. <laughs> and now we got, you know, the, the Raiders are fascinating, but I'm just going to go right to the cream of the crop. I'm going to go right to the two best teams we see right now, and I think it's, it's, it's Green Bay, Seattle. Uh, you and I have both talked to Rodgers throughout our careers, including this season. When I last did, I posed him a question directly. I said, Aaron, you've dominated the NFC North so badly. You, 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 there's no competition. And I said, who is your rival? Do you have a rival in the NFL? Peyton had Brady and on and on. He said, well, you know, I've played Matt Stafford the most. Said, no, no, no. Matt Stafford is not your rival, Aaron. Who is your rival? <laughs> right. And he didn't give an answer. And I said, I think it's Russ. He goes, yeah, we've had some good games. It was almost a reluctance to admit it, but that's the one. And I hope they meet in the NFC title game. I know that before that. They don't meet at all uh, in the regular season, interesting enough. Uh, but yeah. it's Rodgers and Brady coming up. I can't wait. Oh, I mean, what baby. a piece of filet mignon. Week six, man. Rodgers and Brady coming up. Two twelves and... You know, obviously, uh, Brady having fun with his uh, senior moment by uh, yep. putting LeBron on, on his body in the number four, congratulating him on his fourth title, all that stuff. You know Brady's taking it all in. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully for him, he can get Godwin back and everybody somewhat, uh, you know, moderately healthy. I can't wait for that one. That's going to be amazing this weekend. The only thing that I, that I would like better than the Bucks getting to the Super Bowl with Brady, we, we've talked about this, it is is the Patriots Bucks Super Bowl. Like that, that's that is the sporting event. That is better than the Balboa Drago on Christmas Day in in the USSR. That's the biggest sporting event of our time. And the Patriots are mysterious now. All of a sudden, I feel like we haven't seen them in a long time. But that's the one I want. And I think Brady will get up from the turf that Khalil Mack was slamming him on. Now, by the way, that was one of my favorite uh, pieces of video from Week Five. Was when uh, when he was sacked by Khalil Mack and Brady didn't know who sacked him, and then he saw it was Mack, and he kind of like rolled his kind of like again. Like he kind of gave Tristan Wirfs a look, like, are, are you know, can we, can, come on, bro, can we, can yeah. we, can we get a little help? Like literally, that was one of my favorite pieces of video that I saw on the weekend.